Pit stops are part of motor racing history. Against the relentless stopwatch, time is critical, pressure is high. Mistakes are easily made. Force India have a team of 26 men awaiting their Formula One car. The Lollipop Man. Three on the jacks. Two team members for starter motor and pneumatic refill. Plus firemen and emergency crew for the fuel rig dead man's handle. Four on the wheel guns. Four men take the wheels off. Four more put fresh tyres back on. Two refuelers plus two more for the backup fuel rig. Pit stop crews are well aware they can win or lose races. When the car's coming towards me, I hope he's uh, going to stop on the mark. It's quite simple, but it can go wrong. You have just a few seconds to react. Keep out of the way of the front wing and link up with your job. You've got to concentrate solely on your corner. You're fully focused on your one job. Second nature. We practice it so much, it has to be second nature. The Lollipop Man. Silly name, serious job. He guides the driver to his garage, advises when to select first gear, and then he must release the car at exactly the right point unlike this Ferrari Schumacher pit stop. The fuel men need to be like rugby players. The fuel-laden hoses are very heavy. They must attach the nozzle accurately, then push through the valve. It's high-quality road car petrol, including 5% biofuel, flowing at 12 litres per second. That's a lot of fuel, and if it goes wrong, it goes horribly wrong. Hot racing cars and fresh fuel shouldn't mix. A fireman stands by. The front jackman sometimes risks his legs to stop the car. And using a manual jack against the front wing, he lifts in unison with the rear jackman. They have blind faith that the driver will stop, occasionally misplaced. A third side jack is used to stabilise the car or if they need to change the front wing when it's damaged. To change the nose and wing section, the crew move around. Two men leave front wheel duties and become the wingmen, taking just 12 seconds and using two captive bolts. The gunmen are waiting on one knee with compressed air gun and brake cooling spinner ready. They need the driver to stop on his mark so the wheel nut is directly in front of them and the frantic work begins. Sometimes the wheel nut won't go on and sometimes the wheels won't stay on. Four men are ready to take the very hot wheels off. Four more men put the fresh wheels and tyres on. It gets terribly disappointing when only three turn up. A great pit stop is a perfect display of human and mechanical harmony. Where every second is precious and the driver's safety is at stake. Fangio had the luxury of being out of his car for over a minute while two mechanics serviced it. Now, 26 men get the job done in less than 10 seconds.